And I'm Rodney. We're, We're your, your public, public safety bros. bros. Today, we are excited to present you the annual report for your village government. Despite the challenges we continue to face in 2021 related to the pandemic, the mayor, city council, city manager, and all city departments worked on many projects last year. Yes, too many great accomplishments to mention here, but today we wanna to share and celebrate some of the more significant ones with you. Let's begin with the safety and security of our community. Notably, there were two projects completed and one special event hosted that enhanced your safety in the neighborhoods and in the parks. To reduce traffic speeds, the Autumn Hills Traffic Calming Project included the installation of a raised crossing at South Boston Street and Prentice Avenue, and a speed hump on South Boston near Riviera Hills Drive. The Westlands Park Treehouse, a favorite play area for kids in, is now safer. We listened to your concerns regarding the steep nature of the ship's ladder. The treehouse now has a new spiral staircase for all to enjoy, giving parents and kids a peace of mind. That's great. Mm -hmm. And lastly, Greenwood Village Police Department hosted its annual public safety open house. Over 250 people attended and visited with members of the police department, including your favorite public safety bros. Yep, that's us. What a great event it was to get some time meeting residents of all ages. I even got to uh, operate the robot that the emergency rescue team uses. <sighs> the event is for kids, Mike. The kids. Stay tuned for details for our 2022 event. I still had a lot of fun. One of the reasons you hear why people live in Greenwood Village is because our community is beautiful and clean. My favorite has to be the flowers that are planted every year. They're so amazing. They remind me of being in Disneyland or some other tropical place that I need to make sure I wear sunscreen for. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, here's what the village did for you in 2021 to enhance the aesthetics of the village. The water feature at Wesson's Park was renovated with new water quality monitoring equipment. This equipment allows staff to remotely observe the quality of the water at Wesson's Water feature multiple times a day and improve safety of the users and minimize downtime of the facility. It's pretty cool. I mean, kind of like an app on your phone with real-time access. <laughs> yes, I guess that's a great analogy. Thanks. The peak view media improvements were completed in the spring of 2021. It was initiated in response to requests from residents and business owners to renovate this large island which had fallen into disrepair. We listened to your concerns and with water conservation in mind, the landscape features included installation of native grass areas and shrub beds with xeric plant selections. And work continued to remove more overhead power lines from the skyscape. In 2021, the village undergrounded approximately 7,500 linear feet of power, including lines at Red Fox, Berry Avenue between Holly and Quebec, Franklin Street, Cherryville West of Franklin Street, and Garden West of Colorado. The village has undergrounded 66,000 linear feet of power lines using the 1% Excel Energy Fund at an approximate cost of 8.9 million. Only 19,000 linear feet of power lines remain in the right of way to be undergrounded. Since we reported last summer, a few more businesses have opened in the village's Arapahoe Entertainment District. You now have several options for dining and entertainment in this retail area that has been re-energized. From Pendistry to its large patio and vintage games to Grange Hall with its diverse, amazing food eateries, the famous Shea Shack, which mm -hmm. just recently opened, and Starbucks, which will be coming soon. Can you use Starbucks now? Yes. Don't forget all the other restaurants that are already open in this area, including the Regal Cinnabar Movie Theater. We hope to see you and your family enjoying our Arapahoe Entertainment District in the months and years ahead. In addition to our built environment, enhancing and sustaining the natural environment is important. The Greenwood Gulch undercrossing improvements were completed at Orchard Road. This project achieved increased clearance under the bridge and increased channel capacity during flood events. There is now new lighting under a bridge, a new asphalt trail with concrete and a new safety railing between the trail and the channel. Visitors to William McKinley Carson Park may have witnessed over this past summer work on a new repurposed bridge. The previous bridge was deteriorating and too narrow for both passing pedestrian traffic and maintenance equipment. The replacement bridge matches the one directly downstream at Quebec Street and better serves the community. The last project is the Shenango Park Trails Improvement. Yeah, for those of you that may or may not know, 
Shenango Park is located between Shenango Avenue and Campus Drive and provides an important connection between the Cherry Creek High School and the neighborhoods and commercial area to the south. The project significantly improved trail accessibility, user functionality, as well as the overall aesthetics of the park. I bet you didn't know, the landscaping for this project was intentionally designed by in-house staff to facilitate the usage of the trail and features of the unique rock garden. No, I didn't even know that. We have some amazing talent in our department that are doing some great things for our community. And these are just a few examples. Leisure and learning are essential for one's personal growth. The City Council has made it a priority to make available an array of leisure and learning opportunities in Greenwood Village. Last spring, the Greenwood Village Arts and Humanities Council conducted a survey to gain input from residents as to what cultural arts offerings they would like to see provided in Greenwood Village. Resident input helped determine a long-range cultural arts plan and programs for the village. So what does that mean? Based on your input, the village has planned to implement new programs such as live music, followed by visual arts, theater, and arts education as they were most favored by the respondents. Be on the lookout for this year's lineup of new programs, including the Summer Mobile Concert Series held at various parks. Greenwood Village celebrated the opening of the Highline Canal Trailhead parking lot on Bellevue Avenue. The Highline Canal Trail now has great new access locations. The property was acquired in 2015 with support from the Repo County Open Space Sales and Use Tax. At Greenwood Village, our staff is always striving to do better, to be better. In 2021, all the departments worked on a variety of projects, and here are two that we wanted to share with you. A new trash provider was selected for all eligible households in Greenwood Village. As you may know, this was a huge undertaking by the village to transition from one trash provider to another. The village is confident that the new trash provider will bring a great array of benefits to our residents. And lastly, if you have visited City Hall in 2021, you may have noticed a new look. We are pleased to announce the first phase of the City Hall improvements were completed. The much needed enhancements provided increased security for the safety of customers and staff. Plus the improvements give City Hall a modernized makeover. <laughs> Do you need a makeover, Mike? Do you think I need a makeover? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe not. Good. We are made over. For the fun of events in 2021, let's look at some of those events that helped us get through the year and put smiles on lots of faces. What a great way to end this annual report video. Here's to a great new 2022 year in Grima Village. Don't forget, if you have any questions, need assistance, staff from the various departments are always available. You can call City Hall, email us, or visit us on our website at greenwoodvillage.com. We hope to see you this year in Greenwood Village.